just looking for the uh, what? I'm just looking at the Oh, just see the other side. Yeah, like should I move it back a little bit or up? Hello, everybody. Good morning, friends. I don't think we have any friends yet today. All right, let's see. That might be a little better, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. It's a little bit blown out at the top. It always is. Yeah, no, that's worse. Uh, Puck says hi. Lindy says hi. RPG says hi. And Arsh says hi. And Nixie is here and says, hey, howdy, hey. Good morning. Hey. How's everybody doing? And we have a Bethany. Yeah, okay. See, you see what I'm seeing yeah. here at the top? Yeah. It's just a little blown out. Yeah. Um, we have a hello from Art with S&S. &S. Hello, Art from S&S. &S. We are going to get a new pen today. Vexus says hi. Hello, Vexus. BM Art says hello, Scott. Art Profile says good morning, hi. Good morning. We have a hello, Scott from Gungeon. And Malik says hi. Kevin says hi. Artsy Batbrook says good morning. Comfy Horror says hi. I this think... person that's name says Kanye West says hello, Scott. Um, oh, Battleworks is here. Hello. Steph says hello. Stormbringer says good morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, so let's not bring any more storms. Yes, we have had a ton of ice. I think we can get out of the driveway. I'm not sure. I haven't tried. But. Um, All right, so I always put a piece of tape on it so I know which is the new one. He doesn't let me touch the new one. I actually have to look at You got to use one. the old one. Which one has the tape? That's that's the one I don't touch. So, no can you guys see the difference? Yep, we can. See, pointy, not pointy. We like the pointy. Um, you should paint Bill from the game too when you finish this one. No. Oh. Scott, I bought your Paleo Mixed Media and I love it so much. Oh, thank you. thank you. I'm so happy it has a good home. Hey, Blick is here and says good morning, all. Good morning, Blick. Well, Morning, this fine freezing morning. <laughs> uh, it is 9.02 a.m. Central Time where we are, and it is 29 degrees. All right, let's get to inking. With a pleasant layer of ice over everything outside of the Hobbit Hole. So I have not seen The Last of Us. I probably won't see The Last of Us. Um, not my fault. He can watch whatever he wants. No, I'm not me. blaming you. You always blame me, but I'm throwing that out there so you know. Okay. I'm, I'm glad you protected yourself. I did. Nixia says, take peel today. Woo so this is the photo so I'm going to be looking rinse. at. Gonna and I am looking forward to doing this. So I already wrote the video for this because as I was sitting here sketching this, I was thinking about the fact that um, zombie apocalypse movies and TV shows are really not my thing. And I have seen so many of my friends just emotional about uh, the most recent episode of The Last of Us. And so invested into it and i was thinking how happy i am for them that they that they enjoyed it and um and how even though it is not my cup of tea even though it's not my thing i could still be happy for them and you know kind of lift them up and, you know, draw something that, that they would like. So anyways, that was my thoughts on it. Um, let's see. Bethany says, even though I was 99% certain that I knew who Scott was painting this morning, I was still wrong. The laughing emoji. Um, 
Naomi says, hello from Australia. I just started high school today and I luckily survived, but I know oh. this is helping me not be stressed. Well, hello. So summer's over. I'm ready for wacky, weird, whimsical, whatever Wednesday. Yeah. I think that's about, that about sums up. Um, a lot of good mornings. Hello, how are you? Hello. Um, Elise tries out a lot of art stuff because of you. Oh, that's great. We have a Jamie Brown this morning who says, good morning, friends. Yes, and, and with a little, <laughs> she's got a little kissy emoji, a heart emoji, and then a little frostbitten emoji. Uh. <laughs> That is 100% accurate. <laughs> um, I love your videos. Love from India. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was inspired by your paintings and drew my dogs today. Oh, that's wonderful. I hope they came out good. I hope you can share with us. I love some dogs. Have you played the game? Both are so good. No, no. I, my friends were trying to get me into the game. I like lighthearted games like uh, Zelda. Um, I, 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 I like my TV shows and my um, video games to be an escape into a happier place. <laughs> so that's just me. Good morning, Scott and Donna. Good morning. Thank you. I've been sick this past week, and I just got to say thanks so much. Every video I could watch of you, I didn't. And your words were one of the things that made me smile when I was sad. So oh, well, I hope you're feeling better. When you don't feel like drawing in the morning, what do you do when you go live? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's why I'm trying to give it some sort of... Uh, you know, like Music Monday kind of thing, uh, Watercolor Wednesday. That at least gives me some structure. Um, though I tend to get bored with that. Uh, the thing is, is, is I struggle every time. Like I, I, I was literally talking to Bethany an hour ago going, should I do Harry Styles? Should I draw Jason Isaac? Should I draw Bill? For and, and, and it's just. And then he still goes a different way. Yeah. There you go. I mean, I, I honestly, um, art is a constant, constant struggle. So don't feel bad that you're struggling. I, I do every single day. Uh, he is not watching the show. Um, I got a watercolor set for Christmas and tried your style and loved it. I drew Howard from the Big Bang Theory. Oh, that's great. What is your favorite band or singer? Uh, favorite singer right now is Seal. And favorite band might either be the Beatles or Def Leppard or, gosh, there's so many. High from the Czech Republic, high from there's Spurs Tears for Fears. There's Huey Lewis in the News. He drew Wednesday Adams already. Twice. Mm -hmm. Would you make another 45? They want Bob Marley and Harry Styles. Um, Very specific. Yeah. I, I still have um, uh, Freddie Mercury and Elvis are get high on the list from all the people asking. I wish you could stuff some of your cupcakes to the to the YouTube. I would love a cupcake. Hello from Iran. Hello. Alabama. Um, a lot of people want to know how you're doing this morning. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Have any advice for someone who likes to ink their drawings but has really shaky hands? Um, I, I don't know if you can see, but I'm resting my hand on the... We can't because it's a top gun, so they don't get to see that. You can't see my hand? Resting, no. It doesn't. Okay. It just looks like you're drawing. That's what I'm saying. But, but so if I was to draw a straight line with my hand above, it's going to do that. But if I lay it down... It does that. Can you guys see the difference? Yes. So this takes out all of the shaking of the hand, and I'm just moving these three fingers. And that's how I do cross hatching and 
and I could do a circle pretty table. well too. It's using the table to stabilize. Yeah, the, sta the table is stabilizing my hand. It doesn't work that well when I'm out and about if I'm sketching, and and I just have to just be very light with it um, because obviously I can't rest my my hand on anything. But Shadow Wolfie asks. Scott, if I can't draw people, can I still be called an artist? Of course. How many people did you see Bob Ross draw? And if you don't know who he is, look him up. Um, he had a TV show and was pretty popular. What's your favorite Tears for Fears song? Oh, Woman in Chains. Um, I'd love to see you paint a character from the game Life is Strange. Hmm. Good evening from India. Good evening. I've been watching for a while, and you've inspired me to turn my sketchbooks into journals that have drawings, paintings, and notes. Keep up the great work. Oh, that's fantastic. Devin says, hello to both of you. I've always liked drawing, but you're the first artist I've ever enjoyed watching and learning from. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm honored. Oh, Jamie did the cancer walk this morning. Oh, oh that's great. Good. It was cold, but it's done for the day. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm glad you got to do that. So happy to be a part of that. I bought the brush pens you were using. I love them. They are so fun. Um, have you played Stardew Valley? I have not. That palette is one of the most underappreciated art supplies. Affordable, easy to clean, tons of mixing room. Everybody needs one, says Blick. Oh, the the palette. My palette? So, so, um, oh, if only he cleaned it. <laughs> I haven't cleaned it in 15 years. Um, but I also don't mix my colors on it either. Um, but yeah, I, 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 is, I think it's called the San Francisco slant palette or something like that. I have I several of them, I have them for my gouache and, and, and whatnot too. So, do you label them? Watercolor, gouache, whatever, or do you just know what they are? Oh, you know what they are. You could tell the difference. Look. Okay. I personally can't tell the difference. <laughs> I just think, do you, how do you know? Like, well, this is gouache. And this is watercolor. See, they look the same to me. What What is it that makes it different that you know? That well, first of all, my gouache, I will mix oh. in the in the palette. Okay. So you'll see, I'll take some of this orange, I'll put it in here, and this is how I get my flesh tones. Okay. Um, so you'll see a lot more of that. Plus, also, I just use, I have a different palette for water for gouache. My watercolor is the same, is the same 12. Like, I have colors that I, I got, like, this flesh color that I never use and another green that I never use. Um, but honestly, no, I, 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 Interesting. yeah, I don't need to label it. Just, I'm trying, sorry about that, guys. Sometimes I have to ask the questions because it just dawns on me at the time. <laughs> Lara, Lara says, hey, can't you see the difference, Donna? Like, what? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, geez, Do you see what I have to put up with people? learning this thing honey this this what's it called oh yeah art i don't know what it is <laughs> um offerman eyes are on point oh thank you um yes the pens that scott uses are light fast and waterproof there's even brush pens we love them we buy them from jet pens or from flick Hello from Serbia again, but I just had an idea for your travel journal. You could go to our country. It's so beautiful there. We this would comment. love that. <laughs> Please read this comment. <laughs> Come visit. We oh would absolutely you know, love that. It's so funny. People think that um, um, a couple of people have said, oh my gosh, you guys travel so much. <laughs> and Scott and I are like, uh, no, we really don't. Yeah. You know, no, I mean, we, traveling to Venice um, which we were paid to do, Correct. um, that was traveling, that was the yeah. farthest we'd ever been from home. Yeah. You yeah. know, before that it was Spain. Um, and again, that was for work too, uh, when we did the movie. So yeah, it's, it's, we, we definitely would love to travel and fill up my sketchbooks and Donna with her journals and. Okay. So Blake says there are manufactured artists hand rests on our site. 
that make it easy to have a steady hand and keep paper clean. Oh, okay. We've got to try those out, Blick, because there are so many people. I didn't even know that they made those. Yeah. They you have different dis disabilities that would really benefit from that. Um, what's, her name? what's her name? Oh, Ashley. Ashley. Yeah. I wonder if she knows about those. I bet she does. Um, do you like the band Cave Town? I don't think I've ever heard of them. Thank you for introducing me to Kim Diaz Home. Isn't uh, he talented? So so talented and so nice. Such a sweetheart. Yeah. And and I really loved doing the Ink Monsters. I thought that was really fun. Like, if I wouldn't be taking the idea from from him, I would probably do it once a week. You know, but I think I want to just do a live with him. Uh, maybe once a month or twice a month would be really fun. I think it's fun watching you out of completely out of your comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. Because you are just like, I can see the tension in your shoulders. You're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's no lines. What am I doing? <laughs> no funny. photo reference, no, no nothing. No nothing. It's really funny. Um, Susanna, D. Susanna says, Good afternoon from Romania. Good afternoon. Any advice for a beginner at portrait drawing? And Ellen's here. Hello, Ellen. Um, advice for a beginner would be... Portrait. Yeah, I would say, at least for me, is draw from life if you can. If you can do figure drawing classes, those were the best thing for me. Um, we did three hours of figure drawing every day in art school. And, um, you know, they... Just yeah, and and, and um, so I would say do that if you can, if you could find a local uh, place that does that. If not, photo reference. And there's there's a couple of videos that I have uh, on where to get photo reference and how to use it. We have a lot of people today that are uh, first time to be to live. Welcome. Yeah, this is that's exciting, you guys. We're happy you're here. Um, and PRBA Vines, there is a video, it is an entire video on Scott finding his art style. Um, you can check that out in the Art Hacks playlist. It is called My Art is a Mosaic. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so to... I'm going to pause real quick and just show you. So I am looking at... Blick says they used to be called <coughs> excuse me. They used to be called drafting bridges. For easel painting, a mouth stick helps steady the hand at any location on a canvas. Nice. I didn't know they had stuff Is that, that those sticks that hand. people hold across the the thing? I've never used those. So I'm looking at the highlights. I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm looking at where the highlights are. So there's highlights here. That's skin over there. There's highlights here. There's highlights there. So I'm going to be doing the lines, and I'm going to be fading them towards those highlights. So if you watch, we're trying to talk the highlight is here. More. Yeah, we're trying to. I'm trying to get Scott to talk a little bit more about where he sees the shadows and the highlights. So for you guys who've been asking. And then this part will be darker. So that's the highlight right there. There's the highlights right there. So I'm looking at the highlights and then I'm gonna to fade to them. So now I'm gonna look for the next highlight, which is, looks like it's somewhere around here. And so I'm going to... Hey, Paul Porosky's here. Hey, Paul. I'm gonna kind of round this corner a little bit and then fade. And then I'm gonna fade up to that. And cue fade. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And it's and it's usually good to have a couple of just lines kind of going through, so you can kind of see that there that this is comprised of hairs, like that. And that's why I'm doing it that way. That's that's a comic book thing that I learned. Okay. Um, I don't think you've ever used a ceramic palette. I believe I think you've only used a plastic palette. Is that correct? Yeah, I think this is plastic too. 
Oh yeah, that's fine. And that was for his inks. Um, let's see, I bought the brush pens and I love them. Hello from Iceland. First time catching this stream. Oh, Whoa. I want to go to Iceland too. You know what? I just need to go everywhere. <laughs> I say that every time. Yes, yeah, you do. I know. Um, has Scott ever drawn something Indian in your life, like yeah. off screen? Yeah, no, we, we've done um, Raja Raja Rami Var, Raja, Raja Ravi Varma. Varma. We did a study of him uh, in the uh, 60 Days of Studying the Masters. Let's see. What if you put the top with the tape on the wrong pen? Oh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> I'll notice too. He will. He, he notices the tip of the pen. Yeah, I, that's why I'm using the old one mm -hmm. for hair. For the for the hair because I don't want to. I don't. I don't need the fine tip for this. Mm -hmm. And then I'll pop out the the fine tip for the, like the little lines, trying to preserve it as long as possible. We've never been there either. We've never been to Singapore. We've never been to the Philippines. Scott's never painted with coffee or tea. Not Water intentionally. <laughs> the watercolors he's going to use are the Windsor and Newton watercolors. Yeah. They're my favorite. Um, since in guitar, says my art teacher only teaches to draw some mounts and a man in a house. After seeing you, I tried some portraits and it came out so perfect. Never expected it. Oh, that's great. That is awesome. What happens if you mix zebra brush pens and normal pens? Well, um, once I add the watercolors, uh, the normal pens are going to bleed. Ava asks, when I do watercolor, my page starts to get chunky and bits of paper is ripping as a layer on the watercolor. Is it because I'm using tissue paper to dab off the excess? It could be. Um, if you see your watercolor paper is lifting up, then it's just bad watercolor paper. How do you capture people's poses while they're in movement in the public in the wild? Oh, I take a photograph. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not good enough to, to, to do someone in the wild. Um, the way that people do it when they do is they stylize it. Um, they, 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 they're so used to drawing people that they're just kind of capturing an image in their head and they're going, this is the pose I'm going to draw. And then they're basically drawing it out of their head at that point. Cause that person has moved on. So, but for me, I, you know, we, we all have phones, uh, with, with cameras on them. So why not use them? So for me, before I do, before I sketch anything in the wild, doesn't matter if it's, you know, a person or a place or a thing, I'm taking a photo of it. And then, um, lots of times, even though that thing is right in front of me, I will look at the photo because I like the composition or something like that. Cause sometimes you get distracted by all of the other things moving around. So sometimes I'll just look straight down at the photo for, uh, for my initial composition. One thing I noticed too was when we were doing, um, when we were out for our anniversary, yeah. he would sit and sketch for such a long period of time that the lights and the shadows would move. Yeah, yeah. And he liked the lights and the shadows in the picture he took when he first sat down. Yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 I will almost always base my um, choice of sketch uh, based on um, the, the lighting. He's such a lighting snob, it's so fun. Connoisseur. Sure, we'll go with that. My parents are motivating me to try and make an art make art a career. That's your amazing. Videos, your videos are going to be a big help with me getting that career. That's just awesome. just want you to know That's how awesome. many people have come on here saying that their parents are trying to convince them not to or forbidding them mm -hmm. to take up art as a career. So just please say thank you to your parents yeah. for for supporting you, supporting you in this. And, and if it's not something you want to do, let them know. You know, you don't have to, you know, most of the times your parents just are just trying to point you in a direction. We're speaking <laughs> from experience. So if, if it is something that you want to do, thank them. If it is not something you want to do, let them know. Oh, 
that's why we have our mods because people do ask questions, but we don't mind that people ask the same questions because maybe they haven't been here before. Yeah. Or maybe they didn't hear the answer to the question. It's always someone's first time. Yeah. And as you can see from how many people are new to the stream today, it's, it is always someone's first time being here. Scott, I'm a beginner artist, and the hardest thing for me to do is trying to follow photo reference. The drawing turns out looking like a human, but never looks, looks like the reference. What can I do? Um, try tracing it. Tracing definitely will help you get your proportions right. Um, another thing is sometimes, and you'll see that in the video uh, with Zendaya. Um, I think it's Zendaya. And I think I always say Zendaya, I but, um, but, uh, if you look, sometimes the photos don't look like them. So you got to look and make sure that you're picking a photo that looks like the person that you want to draw. Um, does Scott like painting fictional characters? For example, the scarecrow from the Mallorca's mask. Um, I, I, I like painting fictional characters, but I, tend not to like doing stuff out of my head. Um, and so usually I like from, like this is a fictional character. Um, so that in this way, I, I like doing that, but I don't think if someone said, hey, um, here's a character I want you to imagine him for us. Um, I don't think, I, I used to do that. I used to do character designs when I was in games and, and I thought it was fun, but um, it's just a lot of work. It's a lot of research. And I, I think I just, I, I, I like the, the act of making the art more than I do the act of researching costume design and character, you know, traits and all of that stuff. Cause designing a character based off of words takes a lot of research. In an alternate universe, what would your hobby be? I think I'd be a musician. He would be, and he'd have really, really, really long hair. <laughs> I'd just like to have hair again. <laughs> Scott does not have oil painting tips. The person you want to talk to is Bethany Primrose, and she can give you all of that good information. So um, the thing about hair is you you got to understand where it's flowing from. So, you know, I'm taking this hair, and I am – flowing it. I'm looking at how it's moving. And um, I think that whether you stylize it or you want to go realistic, you you need to know, you need to be able to, to, to understand how this hair is moving and, and, and why it's moving the way it is. Okay. Um, what paper are you using right now? This is actually... Um, Nice Canson paper. I usually use the cheaper Canson paper, um, but this stuff is as good as the Arches paper, in my opinion. And it's 100% cotton. And I got it from Blick. Hold on a second. I'll show you. You should draw your wife. <laughs> there's, a, there's a video on that, but yes, I have drawn her a lot. Mm -hmm. This so is the, the expensive Canson paper that I'm, I'm currently using. So, um, so we call it snooty paper. it's snooty paper. It's snooty paper. And um, it's 100% cotton. There's only 12 sheets. And I don't know how much it costs, but it was a lot. Too but much. Um, 300 GSM. Donna likes to say it costs too much. I think it's made in France. I don't know. It's expensive paper. It's expensive. No, made in England. Oh, I'm sorry. It still had to come across the pond. I know. <laughs> Um, best wishes from Lithuania. Oh, thank you. Just, um, let's see, you did that one. Um, Scott doesn't ever clean his brushes. Never. No, um, it's, it's saying. time for me to, to take out those, uh, the other brushes that, um, Etcher sent me. Um, he's drawn Stanley numerous times. Yeah, there's, there should be a, there should be a video on here. Hi from Hello. Oh my gosh, you guys are everywhere today. Your art style inspires me so much. Oh, thank you. Um, 
He always tapes it down when it's a single sheet of paper. If it's in a um, sketchbook. In a sketchbook, yeah. you don't have to. Yeah. Um, um, Lily says, I use master's brush soap for cleaning my brushes, oh. which is great to know because Scott will never buy it. <laughs> I'll know which aisle to walk past. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't like cleaning brushes. Um, you don't clean anything. I don't. No, you don't. I mean, I love you, but you don't clean anything. Um, are you guys enjoying the chilly weather? Uh, I'm not really a fan of super chilly weather, but... Uh, We're fans of it being about 70 degrees during the day. I like the 50s at night, so it's a little cool while we're sleeping. You know... Climate control is good. And it's miserable because our dog just wants to go for a walk outside and it's miserable. She just yeah. lays in front of the door in heavy size for hours on end. Um, Ryan moves to a new school today to teach art full time. This is a great way to start the day. Oh, Woo! that's great. We are so happy for you. Um, let's see. School and drawing can be difficult sometimes for me, but you inspire me to draw almost every day. I'm in. And from Germany, and it's 4 7 p.m. here. That's oh, cool. that's wonderful. Thank you. My mom is literally my biggest fan. She loves my art so sometimes. Moms are, are the best. They are indeed. My mom's my biggest fan. Um, and your biggest critic. <laughs> What's a favorite quote of either of yours that helps motivate you through the day? Oh, my God. So many quotes. Do you have a favorite quote, honey? I don't. I have a list of quotes. Donna's looking them up. I am. Um, joy is not found when certain life circumstances align. Joy is there, ready for the taking, but we must decide we are worthy of it. There's my two cents. There's your happy quote for the day. Reach out and grab that joy. Um, my father doesn't want me to take art as a career. He tells me it won't be viable. Now I only have art as a hobby. Well, art can be a hobby. Art can be a passion. And art is not an easy career. Speaking from... Experience. Yeah. Over 40 years of experience. It is not an easy career. So I understand why he's saying that. And... Um, he just doesn't want your life to be that hard. Yeah. And yeah. Hard. But, um, you know, you'll... You'll find your place. You'll find your passion. For me, I, art was all I had. So yeah, I just batted everything else. So has Scott found any more love for digital art? Obviously, it isn't going to replace watercolor in his heart, but maybe a little more love for it. I keep wanting to, and I just can't get myself motivated to. But I, I promise you, I will try. My mom kept telling me art couldn't be a career, but never discouraged me from doing art. Oh, that's nice. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for your suggestion of using zebra inking pens. It's elevated their drawings. I've oh, fantastic. Brands, and these are the best. Phenomenal. Okay. Um, any advice on how to make colors of gouache duller and less bright without making them gray? Um... Usually mixing them together um, is going to help. So um, you don't have to go and mix a white to it because that will make it very, but try, you know, like um, say you wanted like a pink. Um, you can do, a, you know, like a red, you can add a little bit of white, but you can always add a little bit of yellow to it to give it some warmth to it. You know, um, try some combinations. A lot of that is just playing around. But I don't know. Maybe maybe someone like Blick might have better explanations for that. Okay. So nowadays I see people decorating their sketchbooks with like scrap pieces of paper and making it very pretty like a journal. Have you ever done that or considered doing that? No. Um, I, I farted around with a soldering iron and some faux leather and made like a cover for my sketchbook and I just kind of slip it on um, but uh, no I, I 
I've been adding I've been adding some of the um, stickers from uh, the hair journal on them just to kind of differentiate them. But that's about it. Hi Scott, is tracing considered cheating? No, there's no such thing as cheating. And tracing is a wonderful tool that I use all of the time. Blick says an art education can lead to many other careers. The store designers and visual, visual merchandisers for leading retail chains often come out of art school or theater design and toy designers too. Art makes you smart. <laughs> I love that. That's fantastic. Thank you. That's phenomenal. My watercolors always pile up at the edges. What should I do? Um, the edges of the paint. The edges of the paper maybe there's too much water yeah i mean you'll you'll i'll be watercoloring in about maybe 10 minutes and you can see but you know there'll be there'll be times where there's too much water and i'll usually dab up the water with uh with the paper towel that's sitting in my hand for some reason it's um, always in hand. yeah um devin wants to be called an artist but only feels comfortable drawing characters and faces how can they feel more creative with their art? Um, did you see the video, uh, Draw Everything Every Day? Um, it sounds, just based on that, that one sentence, that you're drawing stuff out of your head. And um, I highly recommend, if you want to improve, that you start drawing from what you see. Start drawing from um, you know, photos or from life or whatever, but just draw things anything you don't have to draw just people it could be places it could be things try that that will help you i promise do you use reference and if so is it hard to draw without it uh yes and yes um i use reference and i find it more difficult to draw without it that said um if you saw the the ink monster day we had no reference and no planning no pencils it was just splotch some ink out and just start working and you know i think the stuff came out okay we were <laughs> yeah i mean it's not <laughs> and, and the same thing with um october if you remember i did the october series that was all out of my head too um it, it's it's um i think it's good for artists to be able to do both you should be able to draw out of your head but to draw out of your head, well, I think you need to have that experience of drawing things in the real world. So I think you 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 need both. So um, I can never blend out my watercolors well when trying to create a skin tone. Do you have any tips? I think maybe when you start to watercolor, they should watch. Yeah, but there's also a video on skin tones too. What Is colors there? I use? Yeah, yeah. There's there's a watercolor. It's in the Art Hacks playlist, and I'm sure one of the moms has already posted it. Um, Michael, uh, you don't want us to go over. Michael, what's your worst experience with the boss? I was just used as a scapegoat yesterday. My passion for art grows more and more each day I work. Oh gosh. Between uh, the two of us. We could give We've had some bad bosses oh and some bad, you know, you. yeah, uh, you know, it, it's, I, I honestly don't think the people who are bad bosses are doing it intentionally. I think they just are bad bosses, you know, um, but, but that said, <laughs> what? I think they're just bad bosses. Well, that goes to their lack of management skills. Yeah, but what I'm saying is personal skills, uh, there's a difference between intentionally mean and inept. You see what I'm saying? Yes, and, and so that, that's have, all I'm saying. I have been around people who are intentionally mean and right. they are in a position of power. So I would disagree with that. Story. Okay. I think there are some people, there are few and far between. Most people are inept, but um, yeah, intentionally mean there are people who are intentionally All right, but that, that said... My point is, is that um, these people are just going to be in your in your rearview mirror very soon. You're going to be moving on with your life, and that that's the thing I think uh, age has really um, shown me is that all of the things I was so worried about at jobs and projects that I worked so hard on and bosses that I tried to please and, and it, 
they all just kind of disappeared. They just kind of faded away and they're completely, completely um, irrelevant to my life now. And, and so I, I think, just keep that in mind that these people and these things and these events are just a moment in time and they'll be gone. They'll be in your rearview mirror very, very soon. Um, Minecraft, DD boy, I don't know what your question is. Um, interesting how you paint a coloring page and then color it. Um, me and my friends are watching from art class. That's Henry. Oh, nice. Hi, art class. Hello. Um, Scott is using a zebra brush pen right now. Um, I'm using the older one right now. So I could push down a little harder. Sarah says, I honestly saw the notification and thought it was a short video about drawing Wednesday on watercolor. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I have done Wednesday, though. My mom wants to draw and paint, but stops herself because she likes to trace. And she didn't think it was real art. Your videos are really helping to change her mind. Oh, good, good. Oh, yeah, I mean, so seriously, I trace all the time. Um, I, what, I, what I'll do is... Um, Gosh, I would say at least 50% of the time I'm going to trace something. I, I, I do. I mean, if yeah, I yeah. if I go out and about and I and and I'm 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 out somewhere and I'm just sketching, of course I'm not going to trace. But if I'm going to do something like this, I, I I might project on it just to speed things up. There's nothing wrong with it. It it doesn't make a difference. All it's doing is it's saving you time. Or if you are having a hard time with the likeness, it's helping you get those things right. That's all it is. We have more people saying thanks for making my morning better. Oh, and thanks my for pleasure. And my questions. That's what we love to do in the morning. No, please don't make me sit here and just have conversation with him. I have to talk to him all the time. We love answering your questions. It's the worst. <laughs> we can only look at each other so much. Talk to each other so much. Donna literally wakes up and goes, Ugh, you again. <laughs> <laughs> do you like Depeche Mode? <laughs> I do like some of the Depeche Mode songs, yeah. Uh, Scott, do you do online classes or Zooms? No, no. Um, Blake says, sometimes getting a color to look right has a lot to do with what's next to or around it. Complements and neutrals can make a color look completely different from its appearance on the palette. There you go. That was God, I love that you're here this morning. Ah, I'm loving it. I love all your insight and oh, I love it. Donna loves it. I do. I love it that they're here this morning. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, McCooney. Scott, what type of tape? are you using? Oh. Please tell them about the ridiculously expensive tape. Maybe Blick has better tape. I don't know. But this one I get from the local art store called Plaza Art. And it is uh, my favorite tape. And how much is it, honey? It is only $12 a only, roll. Only. <laughs> only. Lord have mercy. Do you like things not necessarily painting that are abstract, like abstract music or kinds or things of the kind? Like ambient music or something? Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I'm I'm a pretty literal person, so for me, um, uh, modern art, abstract art, I never really got it. Um, but that's just my personal tastes. So Lily Check says, can you use watercolor instead of ink for ink monsters? I would love to try this, but I don't have any inks. I'm sure you could, yeah. Try it. Why not? Um, Devin says, hey, Scott, I just wanted to say that your whole YouTube channel has become a comfort place for me, and I just wanted to say thank you. That is so nice of you. Thank you, Devin. Um, Mahit, what pens should I use? What do you recommend? For what? I mean, if you're doing something like this, I'm using my favorite pens, which is uh, the Zebra Brush pens. I like them because they're um, waterproof. So when I go over them with the uh, with the watercolors, they're they don't bleed. Okay, I, we have enough questions to probably fill up three hours. Um, have you ever drawn Rick Ashley? Rick Ashley, no. Um, how do I draw skin with aquarelle pencils? Um, 
Oh, so watercolor pencils. Uh, the same way. I mean, they're, they're really similar. I mean, they're, they're going to work the same way as watercolors. It's just the reason why I don't use watercolor pencils is because you, they do the same thing as watercolors and it's an extra step. So I have to take the pencil. This is a watercolor. Print. I have to take a pencil and I have to, you know, shade it in, shade it in, shade it in, shade it in. And then I just go and I get a watercolor. I get some water, I put it on a brush and I'm painting it in. So I feel like I spent all that time doing the shading, shading, shading. Well, I'm just going to just, it becomes watercolor and then I'm just going to be flowing it around. And all of that time doing this was kind of useless when I could have just dipped it into paint and done the same thing. So for me, it's laziness or just it feels redundant. That doesn't mean it will feel redundant to you. Of course, but my, my point is, is that it works the same as watercolor. It works the same as watercolor. So if you want to get skin tones, uh, there's a video I have uh, how I do skin tones. And um, you can use that exact same technique with the watercolor pencils. Um, Mega asks, how do you blend with Prismacolors, especially skin? Because mine always ends up streaky. Um, you got to push down really hard. There's a video or two on it. I think I did uh, Robin Williams as Peter Pan uh, with Prismacolors. And um, you just got to push down hard, which, is, which hurts. <laughs> it hurts your hand. You'll get calluses. Yeah. I gave up on art a long time ago because it was really hard to me to improve and stay cheery about it. But I love seeing your videos and see your artwork. It makes me feel good about art. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, art should be fun. I understand it gets frustrating. I mean, I'm frustrated. And, and, and I make sure that I let you all see the frustration whenever I am. So you guys can see that we all go through the same thing. I, I want you guys to all know that no matter what level you're at, we all still hate our art. We wish we could be better. We're always comparing ourselves to other people. These kind of things. It is, it is just human nature. And I don't want you to feel like it's any different for you. It is the same for people of all levels. Do you have any advice on creating muted um, with watercolors, you can do it with uh, more water. It's going to um, mute the colors. But also you can always add uh, a little gray, a little black, a little white, um, something not, you know, a, a, an unsaturated color to your paint. And that should give you that feel. Drawing realistic portraits or paintings? Yeah, yeah. Um, not as interesting for me as trying to stylize, but I mean, these are fairly realistic too. And and that bothers me because I, I want to get my art to be more stylized. And every once in a while, I, I can explore that a little more. I can push things a little more. But I think because I'm doing... Um, I think because I'm doing these uh, quickly, minutes. yeah, they they I I just tend to just follow pretty closely to the uh, to the photo reference, which which doesn't make me happy because I don't want to just copy a photo. Um, I have tried crochet; it doesn't make sense in my brain, and I do knit not as much as I want to, but I do knit. Yes. This is the zebra brush pen. I'm currently using the medium. Are you going to put this in a short? Yes. Yeah, and I'll, I'll have it out this afternoon. Are you trying yourself? Ah, no. Yeah. I just want to say thank you. I was really starting to not like art because I could never get it to look right. But when I found your channel, I was so inspired, and it did not matter how my art looked. Oh, great, great. I mean, I, I'm... 
nine times out of 10, I'm not inspired by my own art either. It's, it's, um, I think, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think as artists, we're always looking for, um, we're always looking ahead and, um, we're always hoping and 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 that that our art is as good as so and so's work, and and I I think that's just like I said I think it's human nature, and we just need to accept it and embrace it, and then just ignore it, <laughs> you know. Um, I only have the soft ones, but this is an, this one's been used quite a bit. So the tip is a little dull and, um, yeah, commissions are closed right now. Scott's not taking any commissions. Um, okay. There's been a couple of people here who are having problems with perfectionism. You want to discuss how to get over that? Yeah, there's 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 a couple videos on that, but yeah, um, art just like life isn't there's there's no no such thing as perfect. So um, I, I understand artists who who want. I mean, I, I've got so many friends who would just sit over their work for months until it was perfect in their mind, and um, and I think of all of the time lost trying to get something just, just right. And, and you know what, there are some artists where you just go, wow, that person's a genius. And it's because they spent all of that time just getting everything exactly the way they want to. Um, I think especially when we're learning, we, we can't, we, we don't have that luxury to, to, pursue perfection um, because we're still just trying to figure out what our style is. And so that's why I always say, if you can do one illustration in an hour, call it done, move on. You'll learn from finishing a piece rather than noodling a piece. Okay. You've got a lot of people that you have inspired to do, um, to draw every day, to try different things. I'm trying to get to all of your comments, but there's so many of you today. Um, I've been in so many of Scott's videos. You don't need to see me anymore. Trust me on that one. Um, people are doing drawing everything for 30 days, just trying to draw something. Oh, that's great. Go outside, sketch a tree, sketch a car. Talk about um, inexpensive alcohol markers that you think are good. Oh, I, I like the Art Beak ones. Uh, for the price, yeah. Uh, the Ohuhu ones, the Art Beak, and Copics, they all feel the same to me, all of them. The only thing that I can't speak to is light fastness. I did set up last week um, the Artex acrylic markers, mm -hmm. the Art Beak markers, and the Ohuhus on one sheet. And for light fastness. Yeah, for light fastness, but um, I'll, I'll let you know if there's any changes. But other than that, they all feel the same. And they all look the same. Um, how about tips for starting an art portfolio? Uh, work towards what you want, uh, the kind of career that you want. If you want to do comics, you should be working in storytelling and comics. If you want to do storyboards, you should be doing that. Um, if you want to do fine art, you should be doing that. But your portfolio is your resume, and, and it should reflect the job that you want. Um, a couple of ideas for sketchbooks. Um, they want you to do the favorite or most important uh, locations in each country. Um, another one is ancient inventors and or people, kings, queens, etc. Question on, do you do watercolor landscapes or vehicles? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I have... Here's a tractor. Um, here's landscapes. landscapes. Uh, and I do animals, animals too. Animals. And I dropped my uh, so you paper towel. Paper you had to have the one that was in your hand. It was in my hand all that time. I was waiting for its shot. What, six? Okay. Um, 
Would you ever try painting first and then doing the painting? Um, I have tried that and I, I did it actually, um, where I painted first and then I did a uh, gouache over it. I'm sorry. I did gouache first and then I painted over it or then I inked over it and I liked it. It was really fun. I've done that a couple times, but, um, with watercolors, I think I like the control like I could be really, really loose with the watercolors now because the lines are there giving it a foundation. And that's, I like that combination. Um, watercolors are, are kind of unruly, a little hard to control. And so I, I like to have, the ink lines are my control. They're a little bit of, um, I, I guess control is the only word I can think of. They're a little bit of control in an otherwise uncontrolled medium. Rod, I apologize. I did miss your, miss your super chat earlier. Um, Rod says that the his your sister and the actor's sister teach at the same school. The actor's oh, his sister yes. and, okay, you said yes. your sister. No. Well, his, I'm talking to <laughs> yeah, Rod sorry. and... Oh, um, um, that's really cool. So, uh, that's really cool. I, I'm I'm told that they're, the Offermans are very nice people. So, blow dryer. Okay, can you guys see the water just kind of blowing around? There. Okay, so you saw that the papers, that the watercolor can blow. That's just too much water. And, um, but the good thing is when you're working with, if you're working light to dark, I don't need to worry about that because the darker colors are gonna cover that up. You're giving me Ajita. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, 300 GSM paper is the paper that, um, this is 100% cotton. Yes. Um, Scott, in your opinion, what are the all-time best watercolors you've tested? Well, I haven't tested them all, but my favorite is just uh, Winsor Newton. That's what I'm using now. Professional ones, though. Yeah. Um, I continue to paint because of how inspiring you are to me. I watch your videos like every day. Oh, thank you. Um, how do you like to clean your brushes? I don't. He doesn't ever clean his brushes. I mean, I, I, I rinse them in water in between, but... Um, when I drop a reference, it feels like I'm just copying. It doesn't feel like my art. Exactly. I feel exactly the same way. And, um, and I hope that I can eventually get past that. I tried to with my color. But I'd like to, I, I've, I've dabbled with um, uh, caricature a couple times. But um, I, I'd, I'd like for my art to have um, its own style. Um, Scott, please don't miss the green comet tomorrow. It's a once in a generation chance. A green comet? Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't, this is the first I'm hearing of it. You'll have to check. All right, thank you. I used to, and I'm still very scared of colors in general, but your videos give me strength and hope to be able to use them someday. Thank you for that. Colors can't hurt you, I promise. Yes, I was panicking because the water was blowing off the paper. Like, what's the worst that can happen? I don't, I don't know. You can spill ink like you did. And then what happens? Your journal and and then what happens? Ink on the floor. So I don't even know. I, I don't know. I just you panic I, before you think it through. No, I just panic. That's what I do. 
Yeah, before you think it through. I don't, I like, don't why know. am I panicking? I never follow through with the thing. Blow dryer. to know how much the paints how much are the paints that you're using right now there's a uh, a link to all of them uh on blick uh in my uh art on my website under the art supplies but they range from about five to fifteen dollars a tube but the tubes will last me a year or so and i'm painting every single day I heard about that. Yeah. Um, which brand of paper are you using right now? I am using um, Canson Aquarell paper. It's a hundred percent cotton. Here, here it is. Okay, so dark trap. He's having a birthday today, but Ellen goes, it's my birthday too. Oh, Happy that's birthday. Right. Yeah, that's right. Happy birthday, Ellen. Happy birthday, Dark Trap. Uh, what type of brushes are you using? These are uh, by, they're synthetic brushes by um, Etcher. Scott, Etcher Labs. What games do you play? Uh, I'm currently playing um, Overwatch 2. And I am just been waiting for two years, three years now for the next Zelda because I really loved Zelda. Um, do you clean your palette or do you save the paints? I save the paints. Scott doesn't clean anything, guys. <laughs> nothing. He cleans nothing. Keep it up. I'm going to clean up this marriage. That's what I'm going to do. You'll see. You'll all see. It's way too I hard. can clean. I guess Halloween. Blow dryer. Scott, you're in 30 years already with the marriage. You aren't changing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Past the return date. You are. You're way The warranty is expired. Date. Oh, dude, so expired. Oh, my God. You are both so adorable today. We're something today, aren't we? You're like, hello, baby. Hello, baby. Um, have you ever considered working with a metal quill instead of markers and pens? Oh. No. You know, um, I like the variability of a brush. Yeah. The metal quills are difficult. Glass dip pens, however, are much more fun, in my humble opinion. Um, I am currently frozen inside of Texas. Your stream is perfect to pass the time. Oh. Do you think Hemi acrylics are good for stone paper? Um. I, I don't really think painting on stone paper is the best, but I mean, it, it couldn't be bad. It's just, um, it, it lacks some tooth. I think right now stone paper is best for stuff like uh, ballpoint pen. Mm -hmm. Ballpoint pen is great. Even colored pencils are not bad on it. How do you get your proportions right? I always mess up with that. Oh, um, 
you know, the, the simplest thing is practice. But then this, this, the second thing is if I'm, if I'm having trouble with it, like if I've done it a couple times, I'm like, ah, this just isn't working. I just trace it. Scott, how do you work with shadows? I've seen that you usually work with purples and blues. Why? Um, I like to cool down. I, I, I find that uh, purple always cools it down. And I'll be coming in with some purples and blues in a bit. But I, I'll, I, I like to do warm colors and then cool it down. Uh, it's just the, the cooler colors. Um, warm colors don't work well on cool colors, but cool colors work well on warm colors with watercolor. It's just the way that they layer. Blow dryer. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Scott. I recently found out that you have autism. I have it too. I find it hard to paint in public because of anxiety. How do you cope with that? Well, I, I mentioned in the video, um, but uh, the the headphones definitely help. Taking a photo before you uh, start sketching that definitely helps. Because if you just don't feel comfortable and you want to get out of there, you can. You've got a photo, so you're not going to miss out on anything. You can paint the rest of the place. Yeah. When I tell you that Scott has done that so many times, and um, even our last trip when we went to Disney together for anniversary, he was painting every afternoon and every night. We'd yeah. go back to the hotel room and he would paint. Yeah, I finish stuff yeah. up. I might start it yep. and then finish it later. Yeah. Um, even when we were in Venice, I we sat in the in the hotel room yeah. sketching yeah. because there was, you know, you're 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 at a place and you want to experience it. So you don't want to, you know, just like waste hours and hours sitting on one particular thing. So you go, okay, I'll sit, I'll sketch this out real quick, I'll take a photo, or sometimes you just take a photo and you finish it, you just do the whole thing in the hotel room. There's no rules to this. Do you prefer painting from real life, i.e. everyday scenes or objects around you, or from images online? Both. I think I, I like to go back and forth between that. What's the best way to get the darkest values possible with watercolor? I always struggle to get dark values. Uh, you have to build them up. You really do. How do you get skin tones right with alcohol markers? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, honestly, um, you know, I don't have much experience with alcohol markers. And so I, you know, I, I'm, I'm just kind of feeling that out myself. But you, you'll see that I work light to dark with the skin tones uh, as well. I think, I think if you look at the Lizzo video, you'll kind of see that a little bit. We have a Santa in the chat. Hey, Santa. Hi, Santa. Ron so you, Swanson looks very intense. Yeah. So you can see I'm adding blues into the skin tones now. Scott's favorite color is Payne's Gray. How's that for oddly specific? Did you finally replace your placeholder bracelet? Is that how long I haven't been here? Oh, yes. Queenie. Yeah. Um, the placeholder was replaced in, uh, this was uh, Venice, Italy. I got mm -hmm. this one. Uh, and then this one we just got for our 30th over uh, at Disney World. Um, they want Axl Rose on a record sometime. <laughs> Let's see. Do you have a favorite art piece? Maybe the Animal Crackers movie poster. Um... We didn't watch this show. No, no, I haven't seen it. Do you listen to any music or podcasts? No, I yeah, I listen to music. When you draw yeah, yeah. Blow dryer.
All right. And here's where I think my favorite part is when I add the purples. Um, when using gouache, do you layer colors for the skin tones like you do with watercolor, or do you mix them on the palette? I will usually mix them on the palette. But I also work uh, with gouache. I will work from um, mid-tones to darks and then come in with the, the lights later on. I love art, but find that it can be very expensive. What supplies should I buy that will be worth my money? Thanks. Um, I did a video on why I switched from markers to in colored pencils to um, uh, watercolors. So I would look at that. But also, I would um, just start off, if you really like art, start off with uh, a pencil and paper and just journal. That'll be the most uh, beneficial because you'll be drawing every day. I don't apologize. So I'm restless today because she didn't have a walk yesterday. So yeah. Sorry about that. She... We did that already. Um. Let's see. Where are we here? Um. Um. Why do we have to wait until the paint dries before adding a new layer? Um. Because then they'll just uh kind of just sploosh together. Uh, and some artists like that, uh, me, I like to have, uh, see how you can see the yellow and there's the, the, the pink and there's the purple. I like that for me, it's kind of a design element. So you can see the different, uh, layers. I, I that's just my, my style, but you don't have to do anything. How many layers do you normally use in a piece? Not too many with uh, watercolors. I only have 12 colors. So um, I would say less than 12. I very, I'll rarely use every color. Best advice for aspiring screenwriters and filmmakers? Um, don't waste your time trying to get a job from a studio. Try to find a way to make your own movies. Tell your own stories. That's what we did with Animal Crackers was we just, I had sold a ton of my books to Disney, Fox, MTV, um, Universal. I mean, just, and none of them ever turned into films. No. And it was so much, we just, it was so much better to just do it ourselves. Better, but not easier. It's very hard to get your own stuff made. Yeah. But it's worth it. What's your favorite food? Um, pizza. Blow dryer. Finish that comment for me and I'll read it out. Um, I had to Google it, but Payne's Gray is probably my new favorite comment. <laughs> it is so fun. My favorite. I'm using it right now. Is Percy Jackson. If so, what do you think about it? One of our boys uh, loved all the Percy Jackson books. Yeah. The, okay. The pen that Scott uses and all the art supplies are in the art supply list. Um, on the website. So you guys can see all of the supplies that Scott uses, but the pen that he uses is even brush pen. Do you have any recommendations on how I could color since I'm colorblind? I've memorized 
how the color wheel is set, but I can only see shades of red mostly. I, I've had a few people ask me that, and my answer, whether it's the right answer or not, I don't know. But my answer is, I, I, I keep saying, you know, you see the world in a unique way, show the world how you see it. But I also understand that if you see, just see everything in kind of grays and you're just, you're not seeing the colors at all, um, then, then that's, a, you know, a lot more difficult. But I, I think at least the, the way that, you know, my, my, my thoughts on this are if you see the world differently, you, you use that to your advantage and try to express that in your art. That's, that's, that's at least how I feel about it. And um, I, I just, I feel like if you're constantly trying to make art in your, you know, um, as it's seen by people who are not colorblind, then um, I feel like we're missing out on your voice, a unique voice in, in art. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but. It does make sense. It's how they see the world. Yeah. And that's a unique, a unique thing. Um, do you have any nicknames for art supplies as you name them? I don't think so. I usually call it the stupid tape that's too expensive. She does. I do. I really do. Because I think it's too expensive. Um, I always appreciate how the audio fades out when the blow dryer comes on. Yeah, that's um, a new it's thing. Not yeah. Tech. That is all a YouTube thing. No, no. I think it's the, uh, since we switched over to the, what? To the cam, to the camera thing. Oh, 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 the webcam. Yeah. Um, I've been a fan for a while. The first video I've seen of yours was the four short figures when you used the How to Draw Comics, the Marvel Way book, and I've loved your videos ever since. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. And Jamie says the muffled hair hero puts her to sleep like a hair <laughs> um, Let's see. Um, I'm also autistic. I was excited to share this experience with you. How do you get motivated to finish a project you're working on? I have a bunch of unfinished projects and lose motivation. Um, I keep my, my projects under an hour and a half. Uh, that's the easiest thing for me is to not take on big projects that are going to take a lot of um, effort to stay, to stay motivated. Um, Cubs Wynn says, my art teacher doesn't like teams great at all. Ugh. Well, they're lost. Um, and you know what's funny? I'm gonna, I'll give me, a, I'm, I'm gonna take a moment. So just because somebody doesn't like a color doesn't mean that it's a bad color. No, of course not. It's just their personal opinion. Exactly. Everyone has their personal preferences. Yeah. I'm gonna say that because the teacher is a person of authority. So I'm gonna say that's fine that your teacher doesn't like it, but if you decide that you like Payne's Gray, that's okay too. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Um, are crayons worth the hype? Um, crayons are cheap and they're fun. Uh, that's, I don't know what hype we're talking about, but that's about it. Donna likes the smell of them. So if you want to, you want to so snort something. Oh, just open the top of the lid and wave, wave it under your nose. It just smells like chocolate. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, I'm at school lunch. Don't get into trouble. Um, what are you going to paint for the background? I don't know yet. Can you explain how to find the complimentary color for dummies? Um, no, I slept through that, so I'm one of the dummies. What do you do to keep the creativity flowing? It's hard when I don't like to go out and explore. Um, it's tough. I, 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 I tend to not want to leave the house. And so for me, it is, um, it's tough, but I, I think have, having a travel journal and wanting to finish one each year has helped me to, to push me to get outside and to do these things. Yeah, he's annoying with it, actually. I have to put some more stuff in my travel journal. <laughs> Come on, we have to go. 
I say that in the most sweet and cute, adorable way. He's annoying and cute at the same time. Um, also, I will tell you this too, that I was inspired yesterday because um, I went online and I was looking up some things um, in, a different, in different museums. And um, I was just inspired by the Tiffany glass windows at some of the museums that I looked at. Just, I mean, you can get inspired by looking at different, um, different things online. Like you can look at uh, different museums, different art institutes and things like that. There's tons of art online. The Louvre has a beautiful collection online. Yeah. The Getty Museum has a beautiful collection. Blood dryer. <laughs> I do not like this, so I am going to. What music do you like? Do you like reggae? This person's music. Um, I don't not like reggae. Uh, I don't listen to it though. My mother and I started to do a ten to twenty minute watercolor session each day, where we paint the Siamese rescue cat we got. It's been amazing to see the growth in just nine days. Thank you for the inspiration. Oh, that's fantastic! I love that that you're doing that with your mom. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, how is Arwen doing? Thank you for asking, Santa. She's doing fine. Um, she's mad because um, we've been walking every day. Like we go out and we walk every day and that's her happy time. But um, it's been raining and we had ice last night. So everything yeah. has this very thin layer of ice on it and she will not go outside. Like she will stand at the front door and I literally have to push her a little behind to go outside to go potty. Um, so she's a little bitter right now that uh, that it's cold outside and she doesn't like it, so. But she's doing well, thank you for asking. And I know you have a little new one. If you guys haven't seen, Santa has a new little something. You should go check it out. Santa has Coco and Holly. I'm smitten, but you know. Blood dryer. <laughs> Now they're asking Bethany if she could ask you to paint Axel Rose on the record. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't get how this works. I keep telling you how this works is Scott wakes up in the morning and he goes, Yeah, I don't know what I feel like painting today. And you'll list 26 things and he'll be like, Yeah, I'm gonna do that 28th thing over there. Yeah, that, that's how that works. Do you have any advice on where and how to find resources to make your own animated movie? Oh, God. Um, no. First of all, what resources are you looking for? And you got to start with a strong script and some storyboards. Yeah. I'm amazed you don't find it uncomfortable to paint with all your bracelets on. Do they help you stabilize? No, they are in no way helpful whatsoever. Um, they took a while to get used to, and um, but now I, I just you 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 kind of get used to these things after a while, and that's that's really it. How do you overcome self doubt? I don't know. I don't know. I've been working on it too, and um, honestly, uh, it's a human thing, and so really, we're all trying to figure this out. But a lot of it has has me just going, it's just art. 
It's just art. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't have to love it. Like right now, I'm not very happy with this. So I thought the inks were good, but the colors just, you know, isn't, isn't hitting me. I might come over and maybe ink some stuff a little bit. I think I might still be able to save it, but self-doubt and just not liking your work is a very real thing for every artist. Scott, my art teacher thinks that we shouldn't look at icons like Van Gogh or Da Vinci because they are both dead and because they were straight, white, straight males. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, I, I will say that um, from the research we did, most of them were gay. So if that helps your teacher in any way. Um, He's not kidding. He's totally serious. Read the history. But, but also there are a lot of fantastic women artists that we also study and study oh, the masters too. Really yeah. Um, so you can look at that. But I understand what they're saying. They're, they're just saying... You know, look, there's there, there's so many other voices that we could study. It's probably what they're saying. So it probably wasn't you shouldn't ever look at Van Gogh. It was most likely is there's more than just Van Gogh and Da Vinci. And I totally agree with that. So, um, you know, but yeah, you should you should definitely take a look at the study, the, the 60 days of studying the masters and. See if it helps. See if it opens your eyes to some other art. It definitely helped us. We studied some very interesting people, women, men, people of all different cultures. Yeah. Um, it was very, very interesting. I mean, we studied some um, indigenous people, some just, it was a very, very, the, the breadth of it was good. Yeah. Was great. Yeah. Um, and studying that. And look, I get it. As a, as a woman, I get it. But I think what we have to take away from, from art is there's, look, there, I think there's something to learn from everything in the world. All right, so let's move on. Yeah. Blow dryer. Okay. Yeah, do not, do not, I mean, do not work on on that. Uh -uh. You're gonna ruin the drawing on the back. You are. Um, Sorry, we need more paints gray. No. How do you keep motivated to draw every day? It's hard. It really is, and um, I have to constantly look for motivation. It it it, it is what it is, you know. Um, Think about it. I'm drawing, I'm doing a piece of art every single day now, and uh, it's not easy. And and I don't want to be redundant, and I don't want to just, I don't want to just keep drawing this, you know, just, hey, look at me. I'm just drawing people all the time. Hey, I'm going to just draw musicians. Hey, So I'm trying to do stuff. I'm trying to get out, but it's a constant struggle. Um, are you going to paint any other characters in The Last of Us? I don't know. I wasn't planning on doing it. I, like I said, I've never even watched the show. I don't have any intention of watching the show. But um, um, Back to back, we have um, Felix says, Scott, your videos have really inspired me as someone who has ADHD and autism. They really motivate me and make me feel like I'm not alone. You've inspired me so much, and I want to say thank you. Oh. And then Jared says, Scott, just days after I found your channel, my doctor advised me to get tested for autism. I immediately thought of you and how happy and content you seemed, which helped me a lot. Oh, that's so good to hear. Good luck with the tests. Thank you, both of you. You guys, we are never alone in the world. Never alone in the world. What would you suggest to be good color pencils under $30? Um, the Artex. Uh, brand was pretty good for under 30. For yeah, I think that was a good deal. 
Does black ink remover exist? No. Black ink remover? Um, I did. I did a video on what I do, which is uh, I would use gouache. Remember where I put black ink on? Uh, oh gosh, I was thinking of removing ink from your fingers or something. No, I think they're talking from art. Oh. Donna, I didn't think about the museum change. I love color classes as well. Checking out a couple of museums online this evening. Good for you. You know, maybe that'll give you the motivation to get out and, and see something in person. Maybe look at the museums that are local to you and maybe you would want to go see those in person. Um, you guys can ask any question you want. I reserve the right to not answer it, but you can ask anything you want. Let's see. How can he read and draw at the same time? He doesn't. <laughs> I read him the questions. Yeah, Donna's reading the questions. Uh, unless you think I'm a ventriloquist, I'm doing two voices. <laughs> Trust me, he does not want to do that. Blow dryer. Almost done. What is the color you use for the roses? Is it rose matter? Rose matter. Hello from me and my guinea pig, Mocha. Hi, Mocha. That's an adorable name, by the way. Um, I was looking for some new markers when I noticed you were live. Exactly when I ordered, you were recommending Ohuhu for someone in the chat. I bought a 40 pack and I love them. Oh, that's oh, great. Nice. How do you not get hard edges in watercolor? Wow, that is completely not focused. Move your hand. There we go. Thank you. All right. Um, I, I, I try to get hard edges, um, which is why I do the drawing thing. Um, but, um, no, it's, it's, uh, like, that'll be a nice hard edge. Um, you watch the Matrix movies. Yeah. Yeah. The first one was great. The rest of them, eh. How can I learn color theory without being bored? Uh, I don't know because I got bored too and I don't remember any of it. Are the colors you associate with each other? Um, and they say that the bullets look like pencils. <laughs> I don't know if I have any colors that I associate with each other. All right, How let do you me overcome self doubt. I, I'm working on that, but I think one of the biggest things is to start is to stop treating it as life and death. It's just art. It's just a piece of paper. I think that definitely helps. Blow dryer. Most basic drawing you can make from watercolors if you're a beginner? Um, a circle. What inspired you to recreate characters? Like, if I'm not happy with the finished piece, I just be upset and not try again. Um, I usually don't go back to a piece if that's what you're asking. If I if I didn't like it, I just didn't like it, and I probably won't go back to it again. Or he'll tear it to smithereens and throw it away. Yeah. Do you have any tips for watercolors or watercolors I should buy? Um, my, there's a list of my favorite materials and my favorite watercolors. Mm -hmm. I would definitely look at that. Uh, but, um, you know, it depends on your budget. Um, Stabilo brush pens, I do not believe, are waterproof. So Spets so tried a million different brush pens. And if it's not waterproof, he's not going to use it. Yeah, blow dryer.
All right, I'm going to clean this up. Now. Penny, you should paint a red panda because you asked. What museums are good to go to to get inspiration? Oh my God, any museums are good to go to for inspiration. Well, not any museum. You gotta you gotta look and see. Well, it depends I mean, it on depend what people are interested in. Well, it also depends on on you know how far you can travel too. Well, no. If you can get online here, you can go to any museum. Oh you can yeah. Go to the Louvre and look at part of their collection if you want to see the Louvre's collection. That's you true. You can go to look at the Getty Museum. You can look at a ton of different museums. And see some of their collections or their special um, rotating exhibits that they have. There, a lot of the museums are doing that now because um, because of COVID and because they know people want to see things and they can't get out. Um, so um, Lou wants to know what tea we're drinking today. I drank whatever Donna gave me. Mm -hmm. He has the decaf berries tea. Um, the, um, what was I drinking this morning? Let's see, first I had the Tuck Box tea, which was a really mellow tea, then I had the Herod tea, and then I had the Pittsburgh breakfast, which is what I'm finishing now. I've had a lot of tea already today. Um, if you're only confident in drawing one thing, is it good to explore? Yes. Emma says the National Gallery in London and the Tate Gallery have a lot available online. Woo! Good to know. That's good. Thank you. All right. I did my school presentation on you and I got an A. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. I am honored. What is one platform that you use daily for reference? Um, Google. Um, I am still uncaffeinated. Okay, that's frightening. Um, I also bought the zebra brush pens and Artex acrylic markers because of your reviews. I hope you like them. I drink whatever it only gives me. They get they are laughing at that. Do you work for anything on the side or is YouTube your full-time job? No, no, I have uh, animation projects that I'm working on. My art teacher showed us a video of yours, and a bunch of us were like, Scott Christian Zabla, and another handful of me included started talking about how much we love your channel. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Thank you. Um, what is your favorite drink? Um, sweet tea. I've never thought of a blow dryer for, for drying water bottles. Well, I, I, I have no other use for one. You inspire a lot of people. What well, channels you. on YouTube do you watch? Um, I, I still have yet to really find um, a groove with with uh, channels on YouTube, um, but um, it would be the people that I probably already follow, which is Kim Diaz Home, um, Dan Pavenmeyer, uh, Santa, you know, things like that. Subscriber, absolutely fascinated by your art. Wish you were an art teacher. Oh, thank you. Do you ever use Pinterest for your inspirations? If not, what do you use? Well, sometimes Google will lead me to Pinterest. So, you know, yeah. But um, I don't ever just browse Pinterest. Uh, they want more gouache videos. More gouache, huh? Mm -hmm. You taught me how to draw noses like I had no idea how to draw them before. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. So your work each day and your kind reassurance keeps me improving my own work. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. I made the Appetite for Destruction album as a drawing for my dad on Christmas. You were a big inspiration for it because I use a lot of the same art supplies. As you. That's fantastic. Love Guns N' Roses. Oh, we have Blick in the chat. Blick says, one piece of advice for perfectionism and self-doubt. You don't have to show every drawing or painting. Some art is experimental, practice, or just for fun. Some rehearsals are closed to the public. Oh, that's good to say. I, I love like that. that. That's accurate. That's accurate. Yeah, you don't have to share everything. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, Tyler says, hi, Donna and Scott. Scott, I know you like Windsor and Newton, but what are your thoughts on them versus Daniel Smith? Also, have you ever done a video on why you chose the 12 colors you chose? Um, thank you. I've never tried Daniel Smith. and. Um, so I, I can't speak to their quality in any way. Um, 
the 12 colors really just kind of came about. Uh, I, I, I think they just, there's no rhyme or reason to it other than I just wound up liking them. Um, my sister is autistic and believes that it restricts her ability to draw. She loves coloring, but thinks that drawing is too big of a task, imagination-wise. I have sent her your videos as an example. With a little heart. Okay. Well, you know, and, and everybody's, it's a spectrum. So everybody's afflicted in a different way. Um, so what might be easy for me or a way for me to, an outlet for me might not be for for her but yeah. um if it helps i hope it does yeah go go easy on her because um it just might be different you just don't you, you don't and you're not in her head so you don't know what she's dealing with um you inspire me to get up and out of bed and i'm drawing you oh thank you um, me and my friend both love your videos and we'd really love you to draw billy joe armstrong on her record Okay. Oh, by the way, your painting is looking very good. Thank you. Um, Sanity asks, where can I get someone as sweet as your wife is? Oh, she's a one of a kind. Sorry. <laughs> Believe me, Scott's grateful I'm a one of a kind. I'm one. Yeah. Um, but if it, if it helps, you know, I found her at a department store. <laughs> <laughs> She was in uh I was in handbags. I was in handbag section. Yeah. Yeah. The bag with me. Oh my god. Um, you make me want to pull out the paints I've been neglecting. Oh. Oh, Santa. Santa. Oh, Santa's got a good Santa gave you a tip, by the way. Oh, thank you, really Santa. Really unnecessary, but says, I think we need to reprogram our brains. Mistakes should be celebrated. They are critical to learn, are unavoidable, and the path to improvement. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't I don't know if they're mistakes or I don't think that we should call them failures either. I just think they're learning experiences, you know? Speaking as someone who fails all the time, they are failures, <laughs> at least for me. Um, but you, know, uh, you but I don't think it's a failure. I don't I looked at when you spilled the ink, because obviously that's a very traumatic experience for me. When you spilled the ink over that hair journal piece, I was like, oh my God. I remember I'm sitting in the chair behind you and I'm looking at the floor and I'm looking at you and I'm looking at the screen and I'm going, how is he going to come out of this one? And you made a beautiful piece of art and you just noodled and worked it and noodled and worked it. And you made this beautiful piece out of something that was a big messy spill. And I don't know. I just, I thought it was cool. I, I don't think it's failure. I think it's just, I think it's a pivot. That's what it is. It's like, oh, it's building. Pivot. We're doing something new. You know? Yeah. Um, a white Posca appears. Oh, my. It's like seeing an endangered species on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm just... um, okay. Can you make a video showing how you learn to draw faces? This is really hard for me. Yes, there are a couple of videos on that. Santa says, I see from young people this fear to create bad art or mistakes in general. Celebrate these moments. Yeah, Santa's 100% right. You can't be afraid of life. You can't be afraid. I mean, this I, I am constantly in fear of everything. So there you go. But I do it anyway. I didn't think we could make a movie and we made animal crackers. And I, I doubted myself the entire time. Oh my God, am I doing this right? Are we doing this right? What are we doing? And we did it anyway. You did know? it anyway. Good. The self doubt and the doubt in your brain is the worst part of all. Um, Scott, I'm drawing my own version of how Steve Ditko's Spider Man would look in real life. Oh, I love that. Um, what is your favorite Guns N' Roses song? Oh, God. Um, is it November Rain? I'm not sure. For now, I'll say that. Oh, we, you don't, don't worry about donating that is silly. That's okay. What is a good five year anniversary gift? Oh my gosh. Um, that's a good question. 
That's a very good question. I think the little bit of colored pencils is what I needed. Yeah. I just needed a little bit of character. Um, speaking as someone who appreciates diamonds, diamonds are always nice. <laughs> um, but honestly, the best um, anniversaries are the times that Scott and I have gone and done something together. Yeah, I think going someplace is always yeah. the best. That's been the most fun, I think, that we had, that we've had doing things together, going places together. Like our 25th anniversary, we went to Hawaii and oh my God, that was like the best anniversary of Boston. Yeah. For our fifth, uh, we went to Disney World. No, that was our fourth. I think it was our fifth because it was, ninth. well, you no, you have 98. It was our fourth. No, it wasn't 98. Yeah, it was. No, I think it was our fourth. Um, my parents are split up and I have no art supplies at my mom's house where I am now, so I'm sad that I can't draw. Okay. So through brain, here's what I'm going to suggest that you do. I will assume that you have bags and stuff that you take back and forth with you. Why don't you make an art bag that you can take? It can be a grocery bag, a tote bag, a plastic bag or something. Put some art supplies in it to take with you so that you have, or make a little art kit to take with you so you have stuff wherever you are. Uh, the streaming schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time. That's all there is to it. Um, <laughs> I love Ellen was just laughing at how we met in the department store. I got a department store. Is art a viable for a side hustle? Yeah, yeah, for a side hustle. Mm -hmm. yeah, you could totally do that. Yeah. Five years is wood getting easel. Blake is just spot on with all this today, I swear. That's so funny. And Bethany's like, oh my gosh, I love that so much more than jewelry. <laughs> Emma, best anniversary gift quality time. You know, it's funny that, yeah, it totally is. I was talking to one of our boys yesterday, and um, I was talking to him about going to museums and seeing art pieces and this and that, and because I was looking at these Tiffany windows online, and, um, and he's like, Boy, dad did a number on you, didn't he? He's turned you into an art monster. And you know, it's great though, because we have this in common now, and I see things totally different than he does. And I don't know. Yeah, quality time. It's, it's awesome. Um, what type of sketchbook do you use in your travel journal? Uh, be creative sketchbook that I get from Blick, but they are in, on back order. Yeah. And. Um... Donna's been in touch with them, but it is my absolute yeah. favorite. I love the texture. I love the feel of it. Um, it's nice feeling paper. I'll it really that. is. Yeah, it feels good. It's good paper. What pen do you use for white after you paint the watercolors? Um, this is a Uniball Signo. This is the one that I you'll usually see me using. But, you know, he All right, it. I'm going to blow dry, and then we're going to do a tape peel. Okay. Blow dryer. When you see me doing this, I'm looking to feel if the if the paper is either wet or bubbled up to, to know if I need to keep blow drying or not. What was the longest period of time you've gone without doing art? Ten years. What inspired you to draw again? Um, well, it was ten years, and um, I just was doing a lot of digital stuff. And um, I wasn't drawing. I was doing animation and things like that but um i just i missed i missed art i missed making traditional art and so um but i didn't want to do colored pencils again i was just burnt out yeah, which is why yeah which is why i wasn't you know making art again and um so yeah so i just i decided i'm going to learn watercolors and so, do you like nirvana um yeah if yeah so, do you have a favorite song
might be come as you are, I guess, but. Um, um, Alexa sent you a tip. It says, hi, Scott, you inspire me every day by making art and giving wonderful advice. I draw lots already, but I'd like to become better as I get closer. Oh, thank you very much, Alexa. No, I'm not talking to you, Alexa. Nope. All right. And we. Okay, Lula had a great comment that I have to scroll up to see. Lula says, my kid, kiddos have a travel art binder. It's a zippered three ring binder with paper, sketchbooks, pencils, assorted coloring implements, etc. Just grab it and go wherever we are. Boom, art is made. That's which great. Which is fantastic. So maybe the person that asked that, maybe you can put together a binder. I think that's fantastic. Lars says, I think some warmth on the left side of the beard would make the painting cooler. It is not snowing here. We had ice last night. Yeah, the chat really is making the mods work. You guys are really <laughs> prolific. How is Esmeralda doing? She's good. We, I took her out uh, Saturday. on Saturday. Yeah, she's doing good. We're going to be taking her again tomorrow to the zoo. Because what are we going to see tomorrow? Red pandas! Red pandas. Donna's favorite. You can just tell that I'm a little excited about that. You may or may not, whoever asked for a video of Donna, you may or may not see that tomorrow post Red Panda adventure. I'm just saying. Because I'll be screaming into the parking lot at a million miles an hour nice. and then running to see the Red Pandas. Anyway. Um, oh, Jamie's going to the zoo on Saturday. Oh, that's great. Uh, the model. Oh, where's the model of Esmeralda? The little. Oh, there, you go. Um, there is a video on finding your art style. Yeah, Ellen goes red <laughs> yeah. Um Oh, look at this person thinks I'm annoying. That's so <laughs> sweet of you. Welcome to my world. Imagine thirty years of this. Stuff like that, they're just jealous that I'm not there with them yelling in their ear. Um, as someone who makes art for a living, too, I sometimes struggle with knowing what to ask on some commissions or unfinished pieces I've just made. Any tips on pressing that bridge better? Um, I, I tend to uh, come up with an hourly rate, like $25 an hour or $50 an hour, and, um, and then work from that. So if a piece takes me four hours, and I'm charging fifty dollars an hour. It's a two hundred dollar piece. I don't know if that helps or not, but that's that's usually what I do. Is I just try to come up with a fair rate and then um, work from that. Um, okay. So um, they want tips for lighting and shadows. Do you have any tips to make it easier to understand lighting and shadows? Because this person's been um, doing art for 11 years, but they're still having trouble with it. Um, my biggest tip is to draw everything every day, which is how you learn about lighting and shadows by drawing things, seeing how light affects them. But I mean, Donna keeps trying to get me to, to do a video on it and I don't know how to explain lighting and shadow. Light hits one part and it, the shadow casts on the other part. I, I, the rest of it is like trying to describe music um, for me. It, it's, it's, uh, it's just not something that, like, I like to add cool colors to my shadows, but that's not explaining how light and shadow works. I think it's something you should get from like a physics teacher or something like that. Um, but there are just better, better, there's teachers out there. I'm not a teacher. And I apologize for not being able to answer that question in a way that, that helps anybody. Um, okay, so have you ever painted gorillas? Yes. Yeah. And this is have visions not of Scott having to drag Don away tomorrow. I know they're gonna be lucky if I if I uh, leave. I mean they will leave. All right. Um, it, where did you find your um, travel bag? I'd love to get one. Uh, I got it from eBay. It is a Swiss medic bag. There's a video on it. 
And it has been two hours, honey, so. Oh my God, I didn't even realize it's been that long. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay, so um, sorry about that. I will let you guys go now. I didn't, I honestly kind of was even looking at the time. <laughs> okay, save your questions for um, Friday. We're going to do a uh, fart around, fantastic, whatever Friday, and we will see you guys then. Thank you all for hanging out with yeah, us. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. And sorry, I didn't even know it was that much fun. Bye.